Hi, hey, welcome. We are going to talk about the very, very, very first things you need to do and apply all the way up in the config file in the .config slash i3 config file. This file here, you need first to tell the system what monitor you have. There is a little program that's called xRender. Little program that's included, which can read what you have. I'm on VirtualBox, I'm teaching now, it's VirtualBox, it's at VGA-1 and it's not even in here, yeah, it is more or less, here it's called 0. So, it's gonna check what um, monitor you have, it knows the name of the monitor and it knows the resolution, the possible resolution that will work for you and that's what you need to fill in. Um, you will see it works out of the box even if you don't have um, VGA1 like, a, like this code here, this line of code is just ignored and it just shows up and uh, but if you want to set it right, for instance with dual screen then you need to tell them, look I uh, forget about this VGA1 I have here an HDMI or I have a DVI and it's this one is to the right of the other one and that's all explained as well on the i3.org website. I should have said something about that earlier. So we should um, point to you that there is something called i3.org. Oh no, again, they got me again. .com. Oh my god, they got me again. <laughs> I3. Uh, Tiling with no manager. Come Google, help me. WM.org. Sorry about all this advertising. So this is the one, this is where you can find more information, a lot of documentations. I have gone through all of them and that's the only way to learn I3. Uh, but if you want to quickly find something about it, you will Control find dual something then you go navigate through it and see if you find anything about dual screens somewhere that's how to do it so i3 wm.org that's the name and remember it eric you always forget it um well we were working on we're talking about this thing here so the x render then we have included as well i think let's have a look a render a render is the same as the X render, but it's graphical. We have an application and it's just saying the same thing it says in the other one. But um, you can see here the properties. We don't need that. We can see the outputs. That's what I wanted to show. So it's the same thing we saw in the terminal, but it's now um, well graphical. And um, you can find out, find out maybe more information if you are stuck with your uh, monitor setup. What I do next then is declare that HDMI1 which is the output of XRender is my first monitor so that's the one to my left and the second monitor is HDMI2 that's the one to my right and I tell them that workspace 1 goes on the first monitor to the left and 5 as well but 6 is on the second monitor to the right and that's how I organized my, my i3. I don't want to, um, well, I can only give you this tip. Um, if you're willing and able to buy a second monitor, then it's the best way to experience i3. i3 is awesome if you have this meter of monitor in front of you and have five workspaces to the left and five workspaces to the right, it's awesome. It feels like um, a lot of real estate, a lot of pixels that you have. It seems like you have five, no, ten monitors. So enjoy i3 and um, figure out how to, to set everything up here with the tools provided and the i3wm.org, the website to remember to figure out even more. All right, enjoy setting it up and bye for now.